All right, what is up, guys? So we got a new trailer for Beyblade Zone. Uh, I've been waiting for new information on this for quite some time. So we've we've known about this game. It's coming out on Switch, coming out on Steam this year, I believe November. Um, English translation is coming, but we don't have a release date for that. So the release date for the game is for the Japanese version. I don't think the English version is going to drop at the same time, uh, but it might. It's very possible. Um, if you want to get the game, the physical game, um, you can order it off of Amazon Japan. It comes with like a, a blue painted uh, shinobi, which is pretty cool. But uh, anyway, we're going to take a look at the game because a lot of things have been shown off in this trailer. Pretty much everything that I was wanting. Um, so we talked about the game before and sort of like what I wanted out of the game. Pretty much everything has been covered. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll sort of stop and go a little bit here. So we've got a shot of the stadium. Full stadium, looks like it's the anime design. You've got the uh, the gear rails up here. So a lot of the uh, a lot of the video that we've seen have been like these close-ups. So we finally got sort of like a full shot of the stadium, which is which is great. <laughs> Leon Claw there getting extreme finished. So this is cool. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna have its own original story. Uh, it's not gonna be tied to the anime. But uh, right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but you've got a player character that is able to run around here. I'm assuming this is one of the floors of the tower. Uh, I'm not sure to what degree you'll be able to explore the tower, but there is some level of free roaming in it, which I wanted. So for you did the 3DS games for Burst and the Switch game. So right here, we've got some story elements down here. Looks like... Um, up here probably as well looks like I've got a shop here I think those were ch maybe challenges over here on the side or quests I can't tell because of the, the filter they have over this so we've got a bunch of characters here we've got characters that we haven't seen either so we've got here one on the left uh, this is the this these are the two player characters here's another character that's introduced here's another one up here uh, all these characters, these two characters are new. Uh, this one here, this one here. This one looks cool. I believe this is Hagane. Zanki did a post on this earlier on some of the, the characters. So physics actually look pretty good. I think it's going to work similar to the 3DS Burst games where it's got its own built-in physics or whatever, and then you'll have special moves that can sort of supplement the battles as well, which is cool. I like the battle system for the 3DS Burst games. A lot of people were afraid that this this game was just going to end up being like the the English app. Okay, so right here we've got um, we've got like different skills or s special moves or whatever here on the sides. Extreme skill. Just showing some of the characters here. There's Bird. Watch, look, he gets his first win. <laughs> Customization, obviously, that's not a surprise. So we've got stats over here. We've got skills over here. Very similar setup to the Burst 3DS games, which is good. We've got a ton of blades over here. I'm assuming. There's all these little plus zeros. I'm assuming that's going to be some sort of fusion or upgrade or something to increase the um, like the power of your blades. That's kind of what they did with the burst games, which is cool. It means like you'll be able to sort of increase the chances of winning, like the more you play with a certain blade or customize it or fuse it with other parts or whatever. Online battle. This is really cool. I was very hyped for this. But there's a ranked mode, which is sick. The double X rank mode. This is so cool. I'm so hyped for this. Guys, <laughs> Leon Claw double X tier. Oh, that's so sick. 
That's so sick. So you've got a rating up here. That's so cool. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for ranked mode. Yeah, so it comes out November 14th. Switch and Steam. And yeah, the, the Switch physical version comes with this. Oh, this is uh, this is cool. So this is the in-game version of uh, there was a vote for like a special recolor edition of this in the game, and people picked this sort of galaxy, sparkly, recolor or whatever. So these stickers, I I think these are digital versions. Maybe they're physical. Uh. Yeah, uh, they're like game original stickers or whatever. I'm not sure if that means that you're going to have sticker options in the game or if those are going to come with the game. But very hyped. The game looks really cool. Very excited that they added some level of roaming. That way you can explore the tower. I think that that's really cool. It's something I really wanted. Gives you like an opportunity to sort of explore the Beyblade X world a little more. Um, ranked is going to be awesome. Online is going to be awesome. Everything that I'm seeing right now looks really cool. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to rely on motion controls, which is good because I don't, I don't really want to deal with motion controls. Uh, it looks like it's going to be mostly gamepad support. So maybe there'll be an option to launch via motion controls, but um, yeah, it looks like you'll be able to play it just with a with a regular like a pro controller or whatever so looks very cool i'm interested to know everybody's thoughts is there anything in this that you guys want to see that we haven't seen so far it would be kind of cool since the game has its own canon its own story whatever it'd be cool to see throwback characters from the previous gen since we have remakes so it'd be cool if you could go to like a floor where like you know the blade breakers from plastic gen like you could fight them or you know, the metal fight characters like Jenga and Ryuga, uh, that would be cool. Same with, like, the burst when that comes out. Um, so, like I said, it's coming out towards the end of the year. So, we'll have the remakes beginning, well, not the beginning, but March of next year. So, I'm sure they'll do updates for this, but it would be cool to see some previous characters from past gens show up in this. But, anyway, I want to know everybody's thoughts. I was, I was really hyped for it. Um, I think it looks really cool. So, uh, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already for future Beyblade content. Smash the like. I'll see you guys in the next one.